Hello everyone, it's Jen. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and enter into the 1000 subscriber giveaway that we have going on right now. I will link the video to that giveaway in the description box below. So be sure to check it out. The winner is going to get either a three month subscription to BoxyCharm or a three month subscription to Ipsy Plus or your choice of a $100 gift card to either Sephora or Ulta. So be sure to check that out. Um, today's video is my Ipsy Plus unboxing. So I, have, I haven't gotten the Ipsy Plus in a couple of months. Um, I think it was like two months I upgraded to the um, um, Ipsy Ultimate box. Um, I am still getting that one, but I just had to have the Ipsy Plus too. So we're going to have that now. So this is um, Ipsy Plus is $25 a month and you get five full size products um, every month. I believe it is a value of $200, I think. I apologize. There goes my dogs yet again. Um, so this is what the box looks like. It is open because it did come just, um, the outer box came just a little bit beat up in the mail. So I wanted to make sure that everything was okay in, inside of here. And for whatever reason, Ipsy um, put this box inside a bigger um, ultimate box. So when I opened it, I was a little confused and a little concerned there for a second that Ipsy sent me a box inside of a box instead of the um, Ipsy Plus. But luckily, there were products inside the second box. So let's get into it and see what we get. So there is a little card in here. Let's see, does this one? This one does. And my ultimate one, for some reason, this month did not come with prices or anything that actually told me what was inside the box. So this is what it looks like on the front. And then you open it up and it's got your products here and the prices. So I'm just going to kind of go in order. I did get a couple of add-ons, which I will show at the uh, very end. So I'm just going to start with this. And I believe, oh, that's upside down. Um, I believe this is pronounced Itsy or Itsy. I don't know. I'm probably butchering it. If I am, I do apologize. This is the Van Ness Eyeshadow Squad. So this is the outer packaging. And, oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. This is what the outer package looks like. I actually really like that. That is super cute. Okay. Bentley. I, I do apologize. Puppies are just into everything. Okay. Wow. All right. So this not quite what I was expecting. So it does have a mirror here. And then here it's got your shadows. Um, it, it does have a little protective thing over it, which this one actually is attached to it. Um, so you can leave it on there if you would like, but it also looks like it's got perforations to take it off. It does, which I'm going to take it off because it'll just get in my way and bug me. So, okay, this does look like it was oh, swatched, maybe, possibly. I'm not sure about that. Okay, so this is, it says, the ultimate winter eyeshadow Squad, the versatile combo of matte and shimmery shades, flawlessly mix and match for everyday looks or party ready smoky eyes. And the powder's soft, buttery texture blends just as easily as a cream. The palette is magnetic, so you can mix, match, and customize it with other single pan shades. Oh, oh, I, I didn't know that. Okay, so that's what this is. Okay. All right, so that is what it looks like. To me, I do definitely have, um, 
I believe some single shadows that I can put in here, um, which is good. Because if I didn't, to me, this is a lot of wasted space. Um, so, but like I said, I do have stuff to um, add to it. And this is, what? There's no way. There's no way. I Hold on, guys. I'm checking um, this because if I'm reading it right, which I am, $60? Oh, I don't know about that at all, guys. Wow. Okay, so let me... Let me do some swatches. So they are um, soft. I, They are soft. They're not so much creamy, I guess. They feel more kind of actually like a sat. Oh, that one is like a satin feel, actually. The shimmer shades are do definitely feel very, very creamy. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and swatch these. Mm. Okay. I don't know, guys. All right. So that is the swatches for them. They do come off. The matte shades do come off a bit on the powdery side. Um and they're not super super pigmented but let's let's see how uh blendable they are or blendable i did that in my last video too i meant buildable oh okay let's see okay so they are buildable so um, I will definitely definitely give these a give this a try, and um, I will do a review video of all of them, all the products like I normally do for you guys, um, and let you know what I think. But just honestly, right off the bat, I can tell you I don't think there's any way that I would ever spend six sixty dollars on this. Um, I just wouldn't. All right, this is um, Evolve, I think how you say it, um, Evolve Skin Care Super Oil. Okay, let's see what it says. So it says, instant moisture without heaviness. This plant-based oil goes on like a serum. It soaks in instantly and doesn't leave behind any greasy residue. Apply two to three drops for skins that's radiant, supple, and super glowy. Um, this oil is perfect for anyone who is new to the face oil game. Use it in place of its serum and follow with a day cream or night cream. All right. And again, this retails for an insanely amount of money. Um, this retails for, let's see, where are you? $68. That's crazy. Yeah. $68. Okay. Let's, uh, and it doesn't, so it, it's a, how many ounces is this? It's one fluid ounce, but I can tell you by just kind of shaking it and peeling it, this is not completely full um, at all. So, okay, let's, oh, there's a lid on, there's a lid on it, guys. Leave it to me, I swear. Okay. Okay. That does not have a very, ooh. Pleasant look to it. Okay, so it is 
definitely very oh that smells ter oh my gosh mm. that smells terrible you guys so it is definitely definitely an oil um definitely not one that smells awful oh not one that you need a whole lot of um but it doesn't seem to leave it oily or anything like that it does leave it pretty soft however this smell is abs is terrible that's a terrible smell all right and that was 68 dollars okay so the next thing that we have um I did choose this product. If I did not mention in the beginning of the video, you do get to choose one product in all of your um, boxes now with Ipsy. So I did choose this. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Stay Spray Setting Spray. That is a mouthful to say. That is an extremely, extremely long name. All right, so this is, okay, so this is the packaging. I, I will say it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, it is, how many ounces are you? You are uh, four fluid ounces. All right. So it says, the makeup setting mist from Tarte is a bestseller for good reason. The microfine spray with cooling aloe and cucumber extracts keeps your look from melting cracking fading or sitting into fine lines for up to 16 hours wow that's a big claim um a must have for he hectic holiday schedules this mist is super versatile use it over makeup in the morning or to wet your makeup brushes before applying eyeshadow all right so i do actually really like the packaging it is a heavy duty package it seems like is that leaking I don't know, it seems like it could be leaking just a little bit. Okay, so it is a super, super fine mist. It, um, I can smell the cucumber in it. Yeah, I can smell the cucumber in it, but it is a very subtle smell, though. So... That is not too bad. Okay, that retails for $25. Not terribly bad for a good setting spray if it works. So I have never used this kind before, so which is partly why I picked it. So um, I will definitely be using that. All right, the next thing that we have is a press and set bronzer brush from complex culture i got one of these and i got this one here in my ipsy ultimate and i as you can see i have been using it i love it as a blush brush it works super good and it is so soft so soft and then i also did get the um the highlighter brush from them and as an add-on as well and i do really really love that one too so i am oops, already thinking that i am probably going to like this brush as well the packaging is i love the packaging or not the packaging the design come on jennifer get it together okay so it's got this um gray part here on the handle which feels like a very soft um matte feel i guess um and then this is what it looks like it's dense but super super soft super soft so this brush retails for 35 dollars which i will say when i got this brush here, I believe it also had a retail value of $35, which when I first saw that, I thought was just absolutely insane for one brush. But guys, so far, these brushes are absolutely amazing. So I would, would most definitely spend $35 on this brush. Absolutely would. Okay, 
The next thing that we have is, um, it looks like it's a set of two. These are the Noah, Nori, I don't know how you say that, Organic with Lip Balm Set in Peppermint and Vanilla. These retail for $7.98 for two. So I am not a big fan of getting lip or like chapsticks in subscription boxes. Um, but, oh, that is definitely peppermint. Okay. Definitely, definitely peppermint. It smells good though. Um, but I mean, they did at least send you two, which is better, you know, than one. And it is winter time. So this one smells very different than the other one. Um, so it is winter time. So I guess they're good to have. Um, and then also um, it came with a bag as well. So this is what the bag looks like for the month of December. It is actually pretty cute. It's got the little tassel here that says Ipsy. Um, and then you open it up and it's like that. So. I liked, I liked the um, bag, I think, that we got in November's box better than this one, but it is still pretty cute, and I usually, my daughter usually ends up stealing them anyways, so, all right, so, now, that was everything for um, what came in the box, so I will add everything up and see what we sit at. Okay, so we have a value of $195.98. So, um, not bad, $25 box. So you are definitely getting um, your money's worth with that kind of a value on a $25 box. So these are my add-ons that I got. This is the this is from Stone Cosmetics, which I have never heard of before either. Um, and this is a liquid eyeliner. And I got this because one, I, I'm running a little low on eyeliners, but I had never heard of this brand. So I figured why not get it? as an add-on for cheap and try I think I believe I got this one for three dollars um so this is okay that's what the tip looks like so it, it is a felt tip one let's see how okay Ooh, it goes on smooth definitely very very pigmented doesn't seem like it's really bleeding all right, and you can do, it looks like a thin um, wing with it as well as a thicker one. So that is good. So I will definitely give this um, a try and let you know what I think of that. My next add-on is, this is from, where is this from? This is a lipstick from, Bell and Argent, I think is what the name is. The shade is Click Your Heels. And of course, it's me. So I got a red lipstick, of course, because I just, ooh, oh, that's so pretty. Very, very pretty. So that's got a good amount of product. Again, I paid $3 for, for this. Um, and I love red lipstick. I just, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So it doesn't go on super creamy like other formulas do. It is coming off super orange in the camera, but I promise you it is not. It is a red shade. Um, so, and it's definitely one that would take a couple of coats to get the pigmentation on it that you would expect from a lipstick but the color is pretty 
I will give it a try. And then this is something I've used before, but I couldn't remember if I liked it or not. So this is from um, Benefit, I think. Is that what this is from? Yes, this is from Benefit. And this is the Pore Professional Pore Primer. And this is, I only paid $3 for this, which is good because this is an itty bitty 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 little tube. Very tiny. So, um, I got this again so I could try it and see if I actually liked it because I just do not remember. All right, so that is everything that we got in the box. Not bad. Pretty good for a $25 box. Um, I'm definitely not sure about this stuff here. The smell is just absolutely terrible. And I really don't think I'd spend $60 on this palette. But um, I will let you know. Um what I think of all of these products in better detail in my review video that I will be posting. So be sure to look for that. And that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.